Nah, my shirt's too drippy to put on the apron. All right, so what's up guys? I know it has been a lukewarm minute since I have posted a video and that's because it's getting to that point in the semester where literally every single professor just wants to just just, you know, you know what I mean? It's just, it, it's finals. It, it's, it, it's kind of tough right now. Since I have missed last Friday, which was the first Friday of May, this week, hopefully, is going to be Full Fat Friday, episode four. This episode is going to be special because the recipe itself is a, is near and dear to right here, right, right in the, right in the sternum. Uh, my roommate's 21st birthday is coming up next week. I don't think we're going to be celebrating it, at least for a while, just because it literally does, his birthday falls on the weekend before or the week before finals so we're not gonna be really doing anything special um i wanted to make him something special something that he literally since the first time he tried it has not shut the fuck up about and that is my mother's sweet potato casserole the sweet potato casserole that my mom makes has cemented itself into every single thanksgiving or christmas day dinner that my family's had since i was probably like six or at least since I remember. And it, every single time I have it, I, I have to restrict myself from not literally eating to the point of vomiting. Like it is so, so good. And it is like the classic example of Southern people taking a healthy food like a sweet potato and just f giving it the whole fucking just with butter, brown sugar, toasted nuts. I mean, it is going to be Fan fucking tastic, and I gave it to Alex to try um, a little bit ago uh, last Thanksgiving. He absolutely loved it. Won't shut up about it. So I got the recipe from my mom, and we're gonna make it for him today. So let's get into it. All right. So step number one is we are going to preheat the hot box to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. While the oven's preheating, we can start prepping our ingredients in terms of building the base of the casserole. And as the first word of the casserole, sweet potato. So uh, basically we're gonna need about a quarter cup of sweet potatoes cooked. Sorry, those are the people downstairs. Anyway though, we're gonna need about a quarter cup cooked sweet potato. So I have these two little small boys right here. I'm gonna nuke them in the microwave for uh, probably about 10 minutes and let them steam, cook all the way through. And then I'll scrape out the little flesh Put them into a bowl, should warrant about a quarter cup, and then um, we'll mix it everything else. Also, before you put the sweet potatoes in the microwave, see if I can focus on this. Come on now. You wanna stab some little holes. I just use a fork. Stab some holes into the top of your sweet potatoes so then the steam can vent and cook all the way through. Okay, so sweet potatoes are done. We're gonna take a nice, big, hopefully, big bowl, and we're gonna slice into these boys. Oh yeah, we're gonna take a little spazoon and then scoop out some of the flesh. And next what we're gonna need is two tablespoons of some soft unsalted butter right into the bowl. Yuck. And then we're going to need one teaspoon of some vanilla extract. Nice pinch of salt. You need a quarter cup of milk. Now I'm going to be using almond milk in this. I would usually recommend um, whole fat, whole, or sorry, full fat whole milk. Um, however, I don't have any right now. And I think that the milk is going to, or the milk is really just kind of like there for consistency. Like the actual fat content may not make the biggest of differences. Um, we'll see though. Quarter cup and um, I'm doing this all in this particular order because the butter, the vanilla, more so the milk is going to help cool down the sweet potato because we're going to eventually add an egg and you do not want to add the egg while your sweet potatoes are still hot because obviously that will cook the egg and then you're just going to get some scrambled eggs mixed with sweet potato which is going to be like disgusting. Next thing we're going to need is a quarter cup of some sugar. Oh yeah. And now before we add any more ingredients, we're going to basically mix these up uh, to form kind of like a starting base. I'm just gonna get a whisk and then just go ham, egg, and cheese on this shit. All right, so we got our sweet potatoes, our butter, our sugar, and our vanilla mixed up nice and homogeneously. And it's pretty lukewarm, so I think it is safe to add 
Ein Ei. Come on now. Woo! There we go. Mix in an egg. Fuck me, bud. I'm working up a sweat. Yoink! <sighs> oh. Eggs added in. Now we're gonna add the last touch, the spices. And then we're gonna pop this bitch in the oven. And it's gonna be good. This is a pretty heavily spiced um, base, but it tastes good as fuck. So, trust me on this. We're gonna add, to start off, one tablespoon, you heard right, a tablespoon of cinnamon. Next, we're going to add one half teaspoon of cardamom, one quarter teaspoon of clove. Now, you definitely wanna make sure that this is only a quarter teaspoon, because clove, although it smells amazing, that's strong. And lastly, but not leastly, you're gonna wanna go with about a teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. All right, so now we got all our spices in here. We're just gonna give this a nice little mix. <laughs> That's some good shit, bro. And now we got a nice little six by nine glass baking dish. And first, we're going to Lube it up a bit with some Pam. Just to make everything, you know, like a little, a little lubed up, you know. Then we're going to pour the nice mixed chair all up in that. Okay, so I just realized that uh, my camera did not uh, film while I was making the topping for this. So basically what we have in this bowl is four and a half tablespoons of butter, a quarter cup of brown sugar, um, pinch of salt, and then five and a half tablespoons, no, sorry, teaspoons of all purpose flour. And I also threw in a little bit of oatmeal um, some just, you know, fresh uh, whole oats tossed in there to add a little bit of texture. Typically though, you would add a quarter cup of chopped pecans. That's what my mom's own recipe is. However, I did not want to go to the store and actually get pecans. So we went with oats and it's just going to be, it's going to be good. So this is kind of like the cookie dough-ish, streusel-ish topping that's going to go, well, obviously on top. And it's going to cook down and just cover the top with just some brown sugar, butter, streusel, oatmeal, like it's just, oh God, it's, it is sex in a dish, let me tell you, man. I mean, if this isn't like just the world's tastiest insulin spike waiting to happen, I don't know what is. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is what the casserole is looking like before it goes into the oven. I added a little bit extra um, oats and brown sugar sprinkling on top just to make sure it looks nice and photogenic. And this bad boy is going to go into the 325 degree Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes or until basically the entire streusel topping has all melted and caramelized and just looks fucking immaculate. So I'll see you guys there. All right, so my battery is about to die, so I gotta go kind of quick through this, but 30 minutes just uh, went beep, 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 we're done. And time to pull this bad boy out. Look at that. Perfectly golden brown. All right, so unfortunately, as I said, this recipe is specifically for my roommate uh, for his birthday, so I'm actually not going to eat any of this. However, comma, uh, he's supposed to get back home from work at around like six-ish, um, and if not then, then hopefully tomorrow, I can surprise him with it and uh, get his official review on the uh, on the sweet potato casserole. But with that all being said, I'll see you guys tomorrow.